a nuke goes off, killing everyone for miles around. Cities get wiped off the map, poisoned forever. That's what we think happens. But what if I told you that after one very big explosion, the entire forest came back, brought with it even more animals than before? Welcome to Chernobyl. On April 26th, 1986, the worst nuclear disaster in history happened here. A flawed reactor design combined with human error led to an uncontrolled chain reaction, a partial meltdown, and a full-scale explosion. Within seconds, the blast and insane heat literally incinerated everything for miles around, turning the earth into a dead, sterile wasteland. Whatever isn't destroyed gets poisoned by radioactive fallout making the air, soil, and water deadly for centuries. Game over, or so we thought. See, places like this are supposed to be dead forever, like monuments to how badly we screwed up. Somehow life came back. Radiation kills everything, right? Well, turns out, when you remove the human element, farming, hunting, all that stuff, it actually helps the animals more than the radiation hurts them. Weirdly, the zone became this VIP nature reserve. First, some tough grass and plants started growing, but that was literally just the beginning. Today, the Chernobyl exclusion zone is packed with animals. There are as many, or even more, deer, boar, and elk than a normal, clean forest nearby. And the top predators are back in a big way. Brown bears and lynx are all over the place, and the wolf packs are huge. Their population is seven times bigger than in other forests in the area. Even endangered animals are moving in. Super rare. European bison have been spotted, and these crazy Perzuwalski's horses we let loose in the 90s are now a huge, stable herd. It's so wild it makes you ask a crazy question. Is it possible that nature is better off without us, even with our most insane creations? Hold on. Studies are showing that Chernobyl's wolves have different immune systems, which might make them resistant to cancer. The stray dogs of Chernobyl are now genetically completely different from other dogs. We are watching evolution happen in real time. Life here is a total paradox booming yet scarred forever. It's a living laboratory that shows how unbelievably powerful nature is, but also how fragile it can be. The story of the atom bomb is always about endings, but in Chernobyl, it's also a story of the weirdest and most unexpected beginnings we've ever seen. It proves that even after the worst destruction you can possibly imagine life will do anything to come back. The planet's ability to heal is way more powerful than we ever thought. It's a crazy look at our own impact and just how resilient nature is. What this accidental experiment will teach us in the end is still being written in a world we made but can't control anymore.